What's up, people? You have found the Kale Report. I'm Scott Killian. Today, we could call it a follow-up to my YouTube starter kit, and I want to talk to you about audio quality. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back. I wanted to take a moment today to discuss the audio in your videos. A buddy of mine contacted me. He's a subscriber to the channel. Scott, I love your content. I love your voice. I love the eye contact you made. Everything's great, but there's times when the wind is coming in and you really need to do something about that sound. Now he was referencing my 2020 new product review of the Cuisine Arts Twin Oaks Grill. There was some wind that day. So I did take his advice and I went out and I bought the Movo microphone. And it does come with the dead cat or wind deflector, I guess would be a, a little bit better way to word it. And it has a mounting plate on it, a slide sliding square. I don't know the official term for that. So in order with using this, I did have to buy a clamp to go onto my gimbal. So what you're hearing right now is through the phone. Give me one moment to get this set up and connected to the gimbal and we'll give it a sound check then to see what you think. Tell me if you can tell a difference in the comments below. We're now connected to the Movo Rode mic. Uh, this was purchased off of Amazon, comes with a two year warranty. I did use it for some other videos since then, actually every video since then. And inside, I could tell a slight difference. I did do an outdoor video on a very windy day called Hooked on Smoke. It was on a local food truck in West Jefferson, North Carolina. The wind was howling that day. And even this microphone didn't do us the justice we needed that day. I've done another video in a larger room where how do you measure up? And in that video, this microphone was able to pick up two people in a larger room outside the office here with no problems. However, I go back to my follow-up video on the Twin Oaks Grill, and it's still a little windy that day. You can see the trees moving in the background and hear it a couple of times. So I'm trying to address that problem. And that's where I bring you this. Same company, Movo, but I bought the Lavier lapel mics. These are wireless and it comes with two microphones, two receivers and a transmitter. I want to get these out, pair them up with the phone and I want to check out the sound quality of them versus what you hear now versus what you heard before I hooked up this. And then I want to go outside and actually test the range on these. But before we head outside, let's go ahead and do an unboxing of these while we're here. If you scan the QR code here on the back, you can activate your two year warranty straight out of the box. This is compatible with all Apple products, your iPhone, your iPad, laptops, DSR cameras, and camcorders. With a nice case, it is a semi hard shell. When you open it up, there is the, are you happy or not happy? Owner's manual, tell you how to pair it up and use the product. Looks like you got a headphone jack or three and a half millimeter. You got a straight to a 90 and two straight. Looks like there's two clips here with wind deflectors and then two three and a half millimeter lines in here that will be used for the transmitter and receivers. They fit nicely in place as you can see. They don't fall out so this is a great thing to travel with. You do have the transmitter which has an on off switch and a pair button. 
and then either of your receivers on off pair and this one is a pair and it also has a volume control so I guess this would be probably a master mic a second mic and then your wireless transmitter so I'm gonna get these hooked up paired with my phone and we'll go outside and check the distance on these now thanks so we're mic'd up and we're outside. Let's give this thing a shot. I did find out the cables on these, the right angle three and a half millimeter jack is to be used with Apple products. The straight three and a half on each end is for DSR cameras and things of that nature. So be sure, it actually says it in the owner's manual, do not cross them up, they won't work. Also, this is a two and a half or 2.4 gigahertz system that it operates on for its frequency. And the range should be 250 feet. So let's see how far out here I can get. I'm not good at measuring distance, but I'm gonna walk across the yard and see what we got. As we go through out here, it is a little bit of a breeze, but I'm not sure if it will be enough wind that the other microphone wouldn't filter it out. I'm gonna turn around now, wave at the camera. Can you hear me? Awesome. Cameraman, camera woman, says she can hear me. Go a little further out. Beautiful day out here. Can you still hear me now? Awesome. So you can see the range that you can get on this. Haley, are you zoomed in on me? Haley, if you can still hear me, zoom in on me. Give them an idea of how far we are away from each other. I would say this is it's every bit of 250 feet. So the range on these is not a question. The clarity on these, hopefully with the breeze that is out here and as I'm walking, will give some kind of indication of the quality of these. Let's get back inside. I wanna check it out myself. Then we'll do a final wrap up. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm leaned in close cause I'm excited. We're back in the office, but I'm not staying here long. Did you see how nice it was outside? I've got better things to do than to hang out in here, but don't take that the wrong way. I appreciate your attention to this video. I appreciate your subscription and your time. I hope I've earned your trust in doing product reviews. I'll go ahead and tell you now, the Movo Lavier lapel microphone is a knockout in my opinion. Two thumbs up. I love it. I can't wait to see it in a real world environment. And I'm gonna come back in here after I get done outside, scan this QR code and get my warranty activated on this. Thanks for watching the Kale Report and hit that subscribe button. I can't see it, but I know it's there. Someone teach me how to put it up here, please.